Hello trainers, Kaneto here and today we're diving together into Great League with a fantastic team showcase, having up on the lead the Galvantula and at the back two Pokemon that share the same typing in an ABB team style. Galvantula will lead successfully against a lot of threats for the current meta of Great League, while at the back we got Medicham as our safe switch which is a full Excel powered up Pokemon, but if you do not have those Excels, just feel free to go with a regular run, just a handle, so that you can get as close as to the 1500 CP as possible because Medicham is gonna be an amazing threat for most things on Great League. Scrafty will join the line as our closer and most of the time we're gonna preserve those shields for that Pokemon to have a very nice uh, uh, finishing off option with a lot of shields on its side. Having here the upper hand now with the shields will mean that we can safely go ahead and tank the next move. We know this is gonna be just a nice punch, just gonna let it slide through and gonna preserve the shields for the Scrafty. Galvantula did a really nice job against the uh, Sableye and with Sableye out of the way both my Medicham and my Scrafty will be on a fantastic uh, position to sweep the entire team and of course they have the Steel type at the back which is gonna be a very nice uh, Pokemon for my Scrafty. A very nice and first win so now let's move forward into the next one with the Noctowl. This charge here is gonna do a lot of damage to the flying threat but it doesn't matter at all just still gonna uh, go for that shield against the Sky Attack because Galvantula might be pretty strong offensively but if Defensively, it really cannot take the hits. They got the red still, so that's why they did not get out of there with their own uh, flyer. So right now I'm gonna go in with the Medicham as an aggressive switch because I know I still have one other fighter for that steel type Pokemon. So having here the Medicham gonna take the shield out of the Trevenant who brings me on a very weird position, but still I can go in with my Galvantula, bring that debuff on the Trevenant side and I know that they cannot farm me down. They still need to go ahead and throw some energy and of course you saw here that we absolutely destroyed down that Revenant with our total damage output. Having now the power of punches on our side, buffing up our attack stat with the Scrafty and of course we need to uh, foresee the bait here. Is this gonna be the Zap Cannon? Of course it is trainers, we guessed that correctly and that is gonna be an amazing win for us. We're lagging a little bit here, doesn't matter at all, just gonna proceed into farming down completely and of course now even the Trevenant stands no chance at all, the final counter has already passed through, down goes the Trevenant and that's gonna be an amazing win for our team. Into the next one now, what does the next one has on our side? It is gonna be the Deoxys, so we're just gonna keep pressuring here with Galvantula. Able to get there to the lands, looking pretty solid here with that super effective damage against them and look at how much damage we dealt to a Pokemon like Deoxys. At this point they did 6 of those counters which means that they could easily go for a Rock Slide, so that's why I blocked, however it was just a Psycho Boost and at this point I'm just gonna go in with my Sableye because I know I have the upper hand against that ghost type and uh, resisting pretty much anything other than the return is gonna be a very nice option for us. Trying to farm down here we cannot which is a bummer, the foul play will connect for the finishing blow but still we can go in with the Galvantula, farm a little bit more and even if the Deoxys comes in we have the upper hand with the energy so getting back with that, uh, getting behind on those shields doesn't matter at all, the lands will take the shield out of them and we we got one more for the Ferrothorn, are you kidding me? The match is not over yet, let's see how much damage now those Power Whips do, because I'm pretty sure they're doing almost 50%, okay, not even close, uh, so we can definitely farm down now with our Medicham, they know that, they back out, and that's gonna be another good win for our team. Azumarill as our lead option here, so we have to go ahead and pressure a lot with our electric moves. What I like about Galvanzola from the lead is not only that it can get a very good lead option, but also a lot of trainers are not prepared for Galvantula. Uh, so uh, you saw before with the Noctowl, they had the Regi and the Noctowl on the same team, which means that Galvantula is having the upper hand for sure against those Pokemon, and it seems like they are kind of struggling here as well with my Galvantula, because Azumarill stayed in, at the back there is a Sifty which is not appreciating that lands for sure, and the Discharge can deal all super effective damage to the Talonflame, so that's why they stayed in. However, here we can pressure even more for the Ice Punch, I got a little bit greedy here, so I'm just gonna lose the CMP down, I 
go to the flame charge it's all good though because I can still go in with my Galvantula and start debuffing that flying threat able to get there to the lands they were gonna draw the shield and I'm just gonna snipe them down with a discharge thinking that I might go for another lands of course I do not uh, so they're just gonna spend the shield that was a bummer but still we can hold on to those uh, uh, HP points with my shield up they return to the battle with a shift tree trying to clear the debuff from that brave bird but at this point I'm pretty sure I can farm down and finish off the battle with the final foul play before they reach to their move and that is gonna be a very nice game into the next one now with Johnny Bravo being our next opponent with a stunfisk up on the lead you hate to see trainers so not only good or regular leads also the very bad ones are gonna be on this video uh, so we're having the worst possible lead scenario the worst possible switch in with the Sableye how are, gonna, how are we gonna be able to destroy them down on the endgame trainers this is just a bummer able to get there now to the ice punch can we draw a shield of course we can this is why I love my we can still get pretty close with the Sableye getting the shield out of them and of course now I will try to completely farm down with my Galvantula they get to the foul play and they will try to take the second on my uh, Scrafty this is looking pretty awesome resisting it by a lot both of my typings are resisting the foul play damage so now we can for we can uh, foreshadow that uh, third Pokemon being weak to my Scrafty so we're just gonna stay in here able to get now to the foul play this is not looking that great because they cut uh, they caught the move on the Stunfisk however we can still pressure a lot with our moves able to farm down before the reach of the earthquake that was really big at this point so now now we can pressure with a foul play to draw the shield and do big damage on the Trevenant while my Galvantula can finish off this rampage of attacks with the Fire Lance against the Trevenant and that's gonna be a very nice game, really bad switch, really bad lead but we still managed to overcome those obstacles with this team, we are looking at a pretty solid team for the Great League and that's why I am recommending this team to you trainers, able to get there now to the lands before switching out because now I can have the upper hand over that Medicham with my own Medicham on the mirror. They get to the power punch which gives me some time to go ahead and power up even more uh, my energy and instead of uh, throwing oh okay they're going for the psychic I thought they were gonna go for the power punch so that was a bummer anyways I know this is gonna be the power punch though not a psychic or whatever able to farm down and at this point I'm just gonna pressure a lot with my ice punches because they are part flying and they're gonna get super effective damage. One for their uh, total HP wow okay uh, dealing a lot of damage with those ice punches a medicham is an absolute threat even to its counters as you can see over here uh, able to get there now to the lands before they get their move off so down they go at the back there is gonna be the stunfish and of course we have locked them down with my scrafty here and that is gonna be another good game for us Chestnut up on the lead, not the best but not the worst uh, because they might run the move Smackdown but this one is running the move Vine Whip, they make an amazing cut on their wall range but guess what trainers, I'm just gonna stay in, take the first move and then they swap out to my next Pokemon preserving that energy for the end game, I know that they stand no chance at all because down they go, they cannot even throw the next Icicle Spear, they need 5 of those Powder Snows and they cannot get there right on time, Fresh Plant is gonna connect but still we can do a lot of damage with our ice punch uh, able to get them to a very low level before finishing them off trying to get there to the ice punch before they unleash their next move however this is not gonna happen superpower even resist at this point is deadly for my medicham down we go galvantula goes in but after the debuff i was hoping i could go ahead and farm down they reach to the superpower to threat my shield it's okay though because now we can reach to the land against the final pokemon which is the registeel so here is a tricky part Registeel with a Focus Blast can absolutely destroy us down, but after the debuff, things kinda change. Uh, kinda change. So we can absolutely take the first move, even if that is gonna be the Focus Blast, because Lock-Ons deal almost no damage at all, and I'm just gonna proceed into farming down with my Pure Punches. Galvantula into Chestnut once again. A lot of Chestnuts, because uh, Community Day was uh, pretty close, and people want to test the Pokemon out for the Great League format, so it makes a lot of sense. Super Power gonna be connected so I did not block at all because I know I can resist pretty much everything that this Pokemon is gonna throw especially from the standard moveset uh, so now I'm just gonna go for the lands against that uh, uh, spark Pokemon 
and of course that little whale thing is just gonna throw their move but at this point i'm not uh, gonna fall for that i'm gonna prevent i'm uh, gonna uh, preserve my energy here with the lands because i know i can pressure for a second shield at this point i can go down because we have the shield advantage they have none so that my medicham can completely farm down here and after that whatever comes in i will have the upper hand with my uh energy advantage so chestnut is coming in okay trainer what are you having at the back this is not looking that good for you psychic for big damage and lethal at the back there is gonna be the frostlass and of course they are not gonna back out they're gonna stay till the end here uh, so scrapped is gonna have the upper hand with its typing being able to get there now to the fall play for some really nice stab super effective damage look at the trainers against the ghost type pokemon and because i have a seal just gonna spend it and then complete uh, the farm down with that final counter passing through before they reach to that uh, avalanche damage uh, so azumarill now able to switch out to the medicine this time they're not gonna stay in so i'm just gonna throw here the lunch and i believe that if they take it we're just gonna switch out to my medicine yeah here is the plan uh we're gonna execute it correctly this time uh so psychic now is gonna connect to my medicine also my defense is lowered but it doesn't matter just gonna go for straight psychic to finish them off not gonna risk anything at this point down they go azuma really returns and i know that even with the debuff they cannot farm it down they have to sacrifice uh their energy for sure down we go to the ice beam especially after that debuff it was uh, pretty standard that we could fall at the back they have the busted on so i'm just gonna stay in a little bit here now I'm gonna switch into the scrafty and i will try to completely farm them down with my moves however i see that they are not uh, appreciating that uh uh, that move that I'm gonna do so I'm just gonna go for that power punch able to destroy them down before they reach to the second flamethrower I was not uh, uh, willing to spend a shield on that matchup because I knew that Zumaril was coming back and Zumaril can be a pretty troublesome Pokemon for Scrafty however here you can see that we can pressure a lot with that final foul play are they gonna use a shield because they have to otherwise they're gonna be super low that I'm just gonna farm them down with my volt switches uh, so at this point I have a double discharge one for the shield one for the knockout and azumarill is getting out of the way with a fantastic play by galvantula into the final one trainers against Papirazzi and we're, we're having the Medicham upon the lead looking pretty solid we really like this matchup and we can definitely outspeed to the first move so here comes the lands able to get their shield out of the way this is looking pretty solid so I can take the move now even if that's gonna be a psychic we can survive after the debuff so we're gonna get to the lands now before they do something weird but here comes Red still to absorb it with its amazing typing we're gonna switch into Medicham and at this point I'm pretty sure they were trying to bait out my fighter so that's why I did not throw at all my uh, Scrafty. I just want to keep it for the end game so sometimes you really need to uh, read the, the teams in order to succeed in Go Battle League so the battle is not over yet and perhaps I am uh, uh, kinda confused at this point because they might not have a second still time I don't know everything is possible right now so we're just gonna uh, keep pressuring now with my Medicham and guess what trainers they have the stun disc so we're looking pretty solid with our scrafty here able to destroy them down with this i'm getting some messages for some weird reason right now okay and we're having the galvantula now with the lance able to deliver that final damage to their shields and one more for the knockout down goes medicham and that's gonna be a very nice victory because now scraft is gonna have the upper hand against the stand fisk so that's all trainers thank you for watching thank you for staying till the end just be sure to leave a huge like before you go subscribe to the channel if you already haven't and i hope to see you all into the next one take care trainers